So how's this war? Let's look at, now here is downtown Kiev. I refuse to call it Kiev. Kiev, here's downtown last night. This was Friday night in Kiev in the war zone. Play for me, Will. So as I do often, Aaron, if you could just side by side that for me. Let me, let me ask the war. Do we only have one uh, war war veteran in the room that's actually fought into a, a war. He's the one flipping a lot of the slides around. Associate producer Will over here to my right. Eventually someday we'll have a camera on him. But I'm gonna ask, I'm asking him point blank. I'm not gonna look at you, Will, because it looks weird. But is it is this you've been in a war zone? You've actually you are a war veteran, you are a battlefield better veteran, you've been in battles. Does this look like a war zone to you? Not at all. Three words, not at all. Where'd you fight again? Iraq. Iraq. Not at all. He was in the war zone in Iraq. A combat veteran. This doesn't look like a war to him. That look like a war to you. This is in the war zone. It's dangerous there, right? Look at this. Does this look dangerous to you? That look, that, I mean, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a war to me. You're like, Tom, people, the people are actually dying. I agree, people are dying. The peasants are dying just like they did in World War I, just like they did in World War II. And listen, I'll pick on anybody. As of many of these bourgeois people, whether it's Bush, whether it's Trump, whether it's Clinton, whoever, that all got out of it, right? So there's peasants dying up there, both Russian peasants. And how, how, how innocent and guilty are any of the peasants? That are following orders. If you don't follow Volodymyr Zelensky's order, his orders, you'll be killed. If you don't follow Vladimir Putin's orders, you'll be killed. So you got to go fight. At least you have a chance to survive in the battle. That looks like a war to you. That's where, uh, that's where all of our billions are going right now. 